This video shows you how to use RStudio by creating a project. Um, the reason they, we like to use projects is that it helps us organize related data files and scripts into one folder. Um, one project could be, for example, one research project. Um, and then we have different um, homework assignments. For example, each homework assignment, you could create one project for it. And also, if you're working through this book, each chapter in this book, uh, you could create a new um, project so that related things, related data files and scripts are kept together and different ones are separate. Um, it helps us define a working environment, including the, the, the working folder. And also, uh, it's also portable, so you can move, copy the entire project to a different place and different computer, you can still run. To get started with a um, create a project from the very beginning before you, uh, you start working on anything. So I'd like you to go to Files, New Project. And so we're going to use the new directory, although you can use the existing directory or working something of uh, GitHub. So we're going to use a new directory, new project, and chapter 4. So this chapter 4 will become a new, new folder, and then this, and this folder in D, obviously you can change this. So now this project has been uh, created for you. So you can see this file called chapter4.rprg is created in this folder. And um, the first thing that I typically like to do is start an R script and start commenting on what this project uh, is about. For example, this is chapter 4. And also I like to see um, the steps I'm going to take for some data import and uh, this kind of um, comments will help, help me understand this um, uh, project. And then, so you, if you hit save, uh, so you have the option of saving this uh, script. So we'll work our, our way through this script. So every time we have to, we can save, um, by save what we, uh, the project, the script that we write. Next, um, we'd like to copy the data file that we need uh, into the, the folder that we just created. So I have a data file here in downloads. I'm going to copy this and paste it into this new folder. So we have a data file in this in this uh, folder now. And go, come back to our studio. We are ready to import. So using read R and uh, we found this file here. And the first thing you, you will see is uh, we need to do, for, in this case, is we change the limiter to tab. You can see the columns are nicely separate. We're also going to change this name from default file name to something, um, something else. And then we'll double check each of the columns. Uh, diagnosis is the code. Uh, DRG is also the code. And the diet. It's also a code, so that we change it into categories, even though there are factors. We change it into characters, even though there are, there are numbers, but they are actually code for a category. So we're going to change uh, this length of stay from character to integer, because 0010 zero, 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 uh, is essentially 10. So most of the times our um, guesses are correctly, but in this case, a few of them needs to be adjusted. After doing that, um, I like to copy this code here that our studio generated before I click the import. After import, you can see this data is, is popping up. You can uh, click in here to sort, for example, the smallest charge is three dollars here. And coming back to the, the script window, I'm going to paste the code that we, we use to read uh, reading the data file. Now you can start working on the data. Um, and you can work your way through and, uh, and, and, and all the script will be kept in here and you have a record in the script window. Um, after you're done with, uh, with this, you could, of, of course, you can close RStudio, activate and save the R data. Um, so, but next time when you start RStudio, um, the project our studio assume that you're still working on the same project, so the, the same project will brought back the same working directory here. Um, so if the 
if the uh, script is not popping up, you can always click on the R script and it will pop up. So if you're done with the, when you're done with the project, you can go ahead and close the project using closed project. If you don't do this, uh, you're working on the same project. I see some student um, have a few dozen R scripts here uh, that contains everything they do for the entire semester, which is um, could be confusing, also could, uh, could lead to some errors. If you want to open the uh, project, and so you come here and open the project, and you find where it is, and um, type it for you found the, found the project, and this code and everything will be brought back to you. So I would recommend every time you work with RStudio, Studio, you follow this process, um, and this will and uh, this helps you uh, prevent um, errors and confusions, and also help uh, keep everything organized.